the north coast of KwaZulu-Natal is particularly popular amongst holiday makers here in South Africa and one of the reasons for that is due to the large number of exceptional golf courses in this vicinity, one of them being Prince's Grant. The club has been established in 1994, it's been built by Peter Matkovich. Um, it's part links, part uh, Parkland's course. It's one of those fantastic golf clubs where you can play for a whole week and find a different course every day due to wind directions and tee setups. Absolutely magnificent golf course here on the north coast. Um, our facilities here, we have obviously a championship golf course, uh, tennis courts, squash courts and canoeing. And um, two kilometers of unspoiled beach here. It's a fantastic setting. The views out here is just absolutely fantastic, especially when I have signature hole on the 15th. That is, it's just one of those magnificent holes. I mean, the bar five looking down over the ocean, around nine, 10 o'clock in the morning, you see the um, dolphins going past there. This is also the time of the year where the whales are starting to, to come up, so it's quite spectacular watching it. We have approximately 470 odd stands here. We're just over halfway with the building. Um, with about 10% of the homeowners living here permanently, so the majority of our homeowners are from the Gauteng area. So holiday seasons, um, especially in December, that's, that's our busy times here. That's our pumping time. Prince's Grant also attracts its fair share of tourists. It's situated in the Alembe district, which is home to a number of exceptional golf courses that are drawing players from far and wide to this special part of the country. Tourism um, is a significant economic activity. I mean, by far still agriculture and agricultural processing is the, the primary industry within the district as a whole. Um, but tourism is probably the one that is we most well known for. And um, obviously seeing the potential of tourism, and especially golf tourism, to unlock some of the economic potential and um, economic challenges that we've got in the district. You know, we try and promote that from a chamber point of view and from a private sector point of view as much as possible. 